Hey guys, it's just so today we are actually doing something completely different. That's right, we are doing a figure review. More specifically, we're going to be doing a figure review of the War for Cybertron Ramjet. Now, Voyager class here from the War for Cybertron trilogy line, and by Hasbro and the cartoon. Now, because. You know, I'm gonna tell you now, I love Transformers. <laughs> yeah, it is dope. Okay. Now, without any further fair, I think we should get to the review. Also, if you haven't seen my April Fool's video for uh, 2021, I actually did a uh, partial review of, of the Deluxe Class Warpath. And here he is. Hey, Warpath. Oh! Now, without any further further, let's get into the review. Okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna say, tell you how much I love the, the packaging for, um, for these toys. And that is my only toy from this line. And seriously, just look at it. The spray, the spray painted all about insignia and these words here. Anyway, let's, let's crack her open. By the way, I've already opened up it and transformed it once. And here he is in all his glory. That, that, that'd be. Hold on. And he, finally, he is out. Decepticon Air Sergeant. Decepticon Air Force Infantry Sergeant Ramjet in G2 colors. Woohoo! Yeah! Now then, I'm also going to point out that his, his insignia is right here. It's not this one, the big one on, it's not this big one on top. So I'm going down. Anyway, let's get back to Shall we? Just, uh, just one second. Okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna say, uh, talk, tell you how well this figure is painted, and, and compared to, uh, huh, compared to how some toys are painted. Okay. Hey, and just give me a sec while I try to get something up on my future. And I'll show you something really cool. Anyway, anyway, here's what I wanted to show you. It's uh, G2 who Ramjet in all his glory. And here's War for Cybertron. So Ramjet in G2 colors. Very neat, huh? Yeah, yeah but you probably don't care about that. You're here, you're here for this review. Anyway... Anyway, anyway, I haven't done much with him, so he's probably a bit stiff. Anyway, he, he comes he comes with two blasters, which can be mounted on his shoulders, like like they do in the like they do in the series. Pew 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 uh, pew pew pew. Wait, 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 don't do pew pew! Ah! Hey, don't do that. Oh. Don't tell me what to do, Autobot friend. Whatever. And my cat is trying, you know, let's get back to it. My cat is trying to mess with the box. No, bad. What? What? Say hello, kid. Say hello, Lucky. He said hello. Anyway, back to the review. Just, just let me get my tripod. Perfect. Anyway, anyway, let's see. Shoulders are on a on a hinge joint, as with the arm, as is the arm and hand, hand which is part of transformation. Legs are us. No on on. On a hinge joint, and which good, but pretty good. It's pretty good range of motion. 
in the in the in the hip is pretty much it's a swivel joint. I believe that's what it's called. And this part right here it actually goes up in order to allow the legs to forward. Okay. The feet are not much to be said, but they, they can close up but that for transformation and they can go sideways for more posability. The, the head is on a ball joint most likely. And also also with the guns you could take them off and put them in this and you can pretty much get them to any transformer toy, which I will show you later. And you can do pew 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 Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I'm going to transform. And I'm sure you can find another review online that covers transformation, but I barely have enough time in my day to do. But before I do, I'm going to... I'm going to... To show, I'm gonna scale him up to another trans to a few figure, other figures. And but for the lack of this, but for due to my lack of current resources, I'm gonna scale them up to two figures. One of one being a transformer, the other being something else, and a plushie. So uh, I'm sorry. I'll probably do a better scale review at some point. Maybe not, just not today. Here he is next to 2001's Tahumata, and they surprisingly scale up pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Here he is next to a Deluxe Class figure, specifically Deluxe Class Warpath, and, as I said before, that's it. You can use the 5mm port system too. Okay, okay, this is a bad example, but, uh, Hey, hey, I made it work. Now, now he has a god. Yeah, better watch out. This is a creep. Uh, can you can I have that back? Yeah, sure. Okay, finally for ro skilling in robot mode, we have this Monokuma plushie. Fall into despair. Shut up. Oh, oh you shut up. Ah, uh, hey, that guy. Hey, I hate you too. Shut up. Anyway, I'm going to transform him a bit, then I'll scale up to Warpath again due to the lack of resources I have currently on hand. It'll be an asshole to get the others. Okay, so I transformed Ramjet in. Wow, just look at this jet. See? He transforms into a, uh, hold on. Jerks forms into a uh, into a pro into an F fifteen eagle with with wings that inspired by the prototype F sixteen XL. You know, in purple. Also, if you look here, you see the words Ramjet printed on there, and the sculpt is pretty good for a figure. Anyway, for scaling, we have. Warpath. A small tank next to a giant jet. That's not. Actually, it's. Eh. I don't know. Anyway. So, that was. Was Sky. Sky Infantry Sergeant Ramjet. And I hope you enjoyed this review. Also, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have. I just for other videos, and also look out for new videos whenever I post them. I'm working on the posting them, and whatever, like the shadow miner. And yes, I and yes, I know I have a monocle in but I probably won't be doing doing dang on run for videos. Well, not yet at least. Maybe some other time. So that. Anyway, so I've been Shadow Sands and I hope you enjoyed the video. Till then, peace out!